Good morning dear students. I hope that everybody would be having good time with their families. Last lesson was about pronouns. In that lesson, we discussed pronoun in general and personal pronouns, and indefinite pronouns in detail. From time to time, I would ask you questions about the previous lesson. Today's lesson is about the other kinds of pronouns, that is, reflexive pronouns, emphatic pronouns, relative pronouns, interrogative pronouns, possessive pronouns, demonstrative pronouns, and reciprocal pronouns. We would discuss them in today's session. At the end, I would assign the task of working on worksheets and one online quiz. At the end of the lesson, pronouns part two, the students will be able to 1. Define all types of pronouns. 2. Identify them in sentences. 3. Use them in sentences correctly. 4. Differentiate between reflexive pronouns and another type of pronoun is reflexive pronoun. I define this pronoun. A reflexive pronoun is a pronoun which refers back to the subject of a sentence or a clause. On this slide, you see the list of reflexive pronouns. In column A, all the pronouns are in subjective case, while in column B, all the pronouns are reflexive. I, myself. He, himself. You, in case of singular form, it's reflexive as yourself, but in case of plural form, the reflexive pronoun will be yourselves. She, herself. It, itself. We, ourselves. They, themselves. Now, I am giving you some examples of reflexive pronouns. 1. He hurt himself when he fell off his skateboard. 2. She usually talks to herself in front of the mirror. 3. David read quietly to himself. 4. We can trust in ourselves. 5. The students can monitor themselves. In these sentences, himself, herself, himself, ourselves and themselves are reflexive pronouns. These are some more examples of reflexive pronouns. I hurt myself, trying to fix my father's car. Jack introduced himself to his new friends. Mary walked herself to school for the first time last week. One must get oneself injured if one intends to drive on city streets. You blame yourselves for the accident, but you had nothing to do with it. What is emphatic pronoun? The emphatic pronouns are, myself, yourself, herself, himself, itself, ourselves, yourselves, and themselves. It should be noted, that these words can be, either emphatic pronouns, or reflexive pronouns. This slide is about their use as emphatic pronouns. The use of emphatic pronouns. An emphatic pronoun refers back to another noun, or pronoun, in the sentence to emphasize it. For example, the queen herself, attended the party. The queen is the noun, being emphasized. It is called the antecedent of the emphatic pronoun. When used for emphasis, a word like herself is called an emphatic pronoun. Remember, the reflexive pronoun is necessary to understand the meaning of a sentence. If the same pronouns are used but not needed, they are called intensive pronouns. Examples Reflexive The boy made himself breakfast. Intensive the boy made breakfast himself. Emphatic pronouns are compound personal pronouns such as himself, myself, and yourself used for emphasis. For example, I will build the house myself. We will watch the show ourselves. You yourself can tell us about the situation. We saw the president himself. She herself told us the news. The city itself does not receive much rainfall. They themselves prefer to stay at home. Our next type of pronouns are possessive pronouns. 
possessive pronouns, are those pronouns that demonstrate ownership, showing that something belongs to a particular someone. Like other pronouns, they're great for brevity and for avoiding repetition. Possessive pronouns are mine, yours, his, hers, its, ours, yours, and theirs. The school is yours and mine. The house is theirs. The money was really theirs. We shall finally have what is rightfully ours. Their mother gets along well with yours. What's mine is yours, my friend. The dog is mine. The cat is yours. A demonstrative pronoun, is a pronoun, that represents a noun, and expresses its position, as near or far, including in time. The demonstrative pronouns, are this, that, these, and those. Examples of demonstrative pronouns. This is ludicrous. Is that yours? Eat these tonight. Throw those away. Relative pronouns are, who, which, that, whose, whom. For examples, we use these pronouns, as they have been used here. This is the man, who broke the window. She knew the family whose house we bought. They have found the lady, whom they want to interview. My precious blue lamp, which was in the room, was broken. The lamp, that was in the room, was broken. The last type of pronoun, is reciprocal pronoun. A reciprocal pronoun, is used to express, a mutual action or relationship. There are two reciprocal pronouns. Each other. One another, on this slide, I show you, how they are used in sentences. Reciprocal means mutual. My dog and cat, love each other. They all, support one another. I hope that you would have learned all kinds of pronouns. If you have any ambiguity, you can ask your teachers without any hesitation. Take care, stay home. Goodbye.